Hey, what's going on you guys, Ramni here. Before we start the tutorial for Bumblebee, just wanted to let you guys know that much like the Optimus Prime video tutorial, this is only going to be the head because there's so much detail that making a full body tutorial on Bumblebee would take forever. So don't expect a full body tutorial from me anytime soon anyway, because that would be a very, very, very long video. And uh, while we're at it, you guys, if you guys head on over to my Patreon at uh, patreon.com slash draw two, you guys will have access to these brand new um, wallpapers for the phone and for the computer that I've been making. So head on over to Patreon, you'll get free stuff just like that. You'll get more coloring pages, you'll get more tutorial videos, plus you'll get tips and tricks that I use on how to draw better and like materials I, I use and stuff like that. So I hope to see you guys on Patreon. Having said all of that, let's get right to the tutorial. Hey, what is going on you guys? Welcome to Draw 2. My name is Ramney and this is another episode of How to Draw. Here in this channel, I help you develop your drawing skills by showing you how to draw your favorite characters from movies, TV shows, comics, books, and video games. If this is your first time here and you want to see more tutorial videos like this one, be sure to press that subscribe button and also hit that bell icon to get notified anytime that I upload a brand new tutorial video. Are you ready to draw? Here are the tools that you'll need for this tutorial. You'll need a pencil, an eraser, any type of white paper, and black ink pens with different size nibs for inking. As you're watching this tutorial, remember that you can pause this video at any time so that you can catch up on your drawings. If you still find that this video is going way too fast, you can always hit that speed button at the bottom right to slow it down. We all draw at different speeds, so find a pace that works for you and stick to it. Also, if your drawings look a little different than mine, that is completely fine as well. Having said all of that, let's get right to the tutorial. All right, you guys, so for this Bumblebee tutorial, I've got my paper in landscape mode this time around. And what we're going to do is similar to Optimus Prime, we are going to be drawing a circle in the middle of our page. And just like that other tutorial, I'm going to block it off, block different segments of his face first, and then kind of just go into the little details uh, later on in the tutorial. So I've got my circle just like this. Try to do your best. I'm gonna draw a line going down somewhat in the center. It's actually a little bit more slightly to the left. And there you go. I'm gonna draw a flat little area right here. And then that goes up and this goes up like that. Now the thing with these Transformers tutorials, as I've mentioned, is that they're so detailed that um, to do a full body tutorial on the Transformers is going to take forever. So that's why we're only pretty much just doing the face, the head, and yeah, that kind of thing. So. Now, let's go back to the drawing. I'm going across, and what we're going to do is we're going to start figuring out where his eyes are going to go. And they are about this far away, and I'm just going to draw two pupils, one there and one here, to start off with. Okay, and I'm going to double on that. So I'm going to draw two, a circle within a circle, just like that. Okay, now right here, I'm going to kind of draw where his eyes would be, the white of his eyes. So it starts right here and it goes in towards this line. And then right here, it's closer to the pupil. And then over here, you wanna make sure that's symmetrical. So let me fix that. That goes there, down, across like this. Okay, and then right around here is where I want that to go. And one more closer to the eye. Actually, this one actually goes this way as well. All right, now from here, got kind of an eyebrow thing going top of the eye right there and this goes up this way and this way and then actually right here it goes back down like that now right here I'm gonna draw two lines that spread apart as you go down and then I draw two smaller lines here and here and then they just continue going down this line just like that here I've got two lines going across this goes up and down, up and down, like that. Okay. Okay, let's go back over here and I'm going to double up on this line up above. Same thing over here. And this goes across, and this goes across as well. Okay. Right around here, I'm just gonna draw two slanted lines going like this. And then I'm gonna draw a line right here and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start drawing the helmet for Bumblebee. And the helmet starts off with a V-shape down kind of in between the eyes here. 
and then it makes its way up like this, okay? So it goes like that and like that. Right around here and here is where the helmet kind of goes. So imagine this line kind of going straight. You want to make sure that those are the same. Okay, it goes over the eyes and then it goes down to the side of the eyes right here and right here. And then now, I'm just going to erase this slightly because we're going to modify it. Okay, so I've got I've got this line right here. And what we're, we're gonna need to do is we're gonna create the helmet kind of going around here. Kind of goes like this. And just try to get that roundness as best as you can. Over here, kind of just goes like that. And then here, across, goes up. And Bumblebee's helmet kind of reminds me of a soldier's helmet. So if you think of it that way, that's what you're trying to do. Or even a, a construction worker's helmet is also a pretty good description for it. And then now I'm just kind of shaping this to, to give to give the uh, the roundness of it looking more symmetrical and natural. So I'm just readjusting it somewhat. And it looks like that. Okay, right around here, I'm gonna draw a line. So imagine kind of this these two lines going up like that. You stop right here and then I create this rectangle going up to there. Okay, I erase these and this. So I've got this rectangle right here. This is where the Autobot logo actually is. Okay, this goes along following this curve right here. And then this goes to the top. This goes the other way right here. So think of this as something that sticks out from the top. And that's what that looks like. Okay, a little rectangle right here. We'll worry about the we'll worry about the logo a little bit later on. That actually would be good for its own separate tutorial. Okay, now right here is a little hole in the helmet. Kind of goes like this. Okay, with some stuff coming out of it. Here and here, going out. And then you sort of make a square, actually more like a, a trapezoid right around here. So try to create this little trapezoid shape. Like that. And you wanna to try to do the exact same trapezoid, exact same angle and everything on this side. So this goes in like it did on the other side. That goes towards the center. And then this goes out to the side. Try to make that as symmetrical as you can. I'm gonna draw the trapezoid first, which is what I should have done with that first one. Here's the trapezoid. And then that goes in. Okay, I'm gonna need to make a little change to that. So let's change it up a little bit. I want it like this. I should like this is better. There you go. That's better. Okay, this goes in and then out this way like that. Over here, this goes in and there's a little thing that goes like this. So that's what that looks like. There's a little dent right here and over here. You don't see much of it, but there is a dent or like a, just a corner on the metal. Okay, so there's, there's all that. We're not even, I mean, that's just the helmet. So let's continue with the very rather complicated face for Bumblebee. To be honest with you guys, when I looked at this, it was tough to figure out where to start. So here goes nothing. Okay, first thing, we're gonna start right here. We're gonna draw this V right here. And then right here, I'm gonna draw a reverse V kind of looking like that, okay? So this reverse looking V is gonna be like his mouth. This goes, spreads down, and we're gonna have to bring this down a little bit. So this goes, and it sort of makes this hole right here. And make sure that's symmetrical right there. Okay, 
and it looks like that. Okay, this goes to the right, and this goes to the left. And I'm simplifying over here, but right here and here sort of goes in. Okay, try to get these as, as best as you can symmetrical. Um, my head is somewhat tilted, so this side, this side right here should be bigger, longer than this side. Okay, this goes up, and that goes up as well. Okay, and then here goes this way, a little rectangle here with two lines going across here and here. Okay, he's got some rivets, one there, one here. I draw another curve right there. Here's another curve and a rivet and a rivet right there. There you go. Let's fix that up a little bit. Inside here, there's a circle. Kind of like a voice box, but it looks like a gas cap or something. Like that with another circle inside. With a rectangular looking thing going this way. There you go. Okay. So let's go back over here and we're going to find a spot right here, kind of just underneath the eye, right here and to the side, right beside this thing. I make this triangle shape. Okay. And same thing on this side. Triangle shape like that. Actually, it's not quite a triangle. It's got a more of a this shape right here. These are going to act as the cheeks. And so we draw this line going across, but we're going to draw the cheek. This is the cheekbone, and that goes up like that. And over here, the cheekbone is actually going to be here. You want to make sure that it's the same size as this. So there you go. But you see a little bit more of its side. So I add the side of it. There you go. Rivet there and rivet right there. Okay, and then here we've got some panels just right here and they kind of just go like this. And one more here, and one more here. So you notice that right behind the cheek, the cheeks and the eyes, you've got this little thing that kind of goes up like that. Okay, right here I'm gonna double up on these two lines. We'll leave it like that for now. And draw several lines going down over here. And right here, just a little rectangle in the back here. Okay, so there's there's that. Okay, right here. I'm gonna draw another line here, and then it goes in like that, and I do it twice. Here's another one, and another line going down like that. Same thing on this side. It goes like this, and then like that. And here, and it goes down like that. And then there's one more right here. And here, it's more of a circle. So it looks more like this. But you don't really see that over here. It's on its side. One more line going down here. And then what you see is you actually see the side of the head. It's got like, Bumblebee's got some exhaust ports sort of coming out from right beside the cheek. So right along the cheek here. So imagine this line kind of extending and this line as well. I'm going to create this shape right here. Smaller. There you go. And I do the same thing on this side. Of course, you do a mirror image of that shape. There you go. I'm going to create a border around it here at the top and here at the bottom and on the side. But they don't quite touch each other because what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to extend it further out this way and this goes this way. Draw that line and then over here it goes into the face and right here at the top it goes over to this point but behind behind that actually goes in like this. and. At this point, there's actually a part of the helmet over here that looks like a moon shape. 
It looks like that. Okay, and then I'll just add to that. And then this goes underneath that moon shape with a bunch of lines going this way. So I hope you guys, what you guys should be seeing is this exhaust port that's sticking out and coming forward. That's what that looks like. That's what it should look like. Okay, and then here it looks like the inside of it looks like that. And there you go. We'll do the same thing on this side now. Okay, so borders around, but the borders don't quite touch each other. This extends further out this way. Not as much as this because of the way his head is slightly angled. This goes above. And this goes below. Okay, right here goes this way. And then here, there's the two holes inside. Kind of look like jet engine ports right there. Okay, lines this way. And then over here is part of that part of that helmet that looks like a, a crescent shape. Let me figure that out for you. Here's a curve like this, and it curves out like that. So it looks like that. And then it comes down and it goes up over here. And then I just make it thicker. There you go. Let's keep going. There's still quite a bit to do. All right, right here. This goes this way. I'm gonna draw a line from here going to the cheek. Okay. And one from down here going to here. Okay, here and down here. And here's a reminder that if you need to sharpen, make sure you sharpen. Or if you guys are like me, I have several pencils that are already sharpened just off to the side here so that I could just easily swap without, you know, breaking my momentum. Okay, here, little triangle. Same thing on the other side. Looks like that. Here is a octagon shape. It's actually a screw or something, a nut. So think of a stop sign. That's what you need to draw. Okay, right here, this goes down. It's a little thing that goes down over here. And then same thing on this side. Okay, and then let's kind of draw the, the jaw where the jaw is. And we'll start right here, kind of just above this little nut, this rivet. It goes this way and then up slightly and then to the right again. And then it goes into the side of this little piece right here. Okay, across and then down like that. And then we'll go back over here. This goes across to about here and then changes directions and then changes directions again. Okay, and then here's kind of the, where I want those bends in the metal there. I'm gonna double up in this line. There you go. Let's do the same thing on this side. Remember, this is the jawline. So it's good to have that kind of getting it nicely. Okay, let's draw a line going across and then side. And let's figure out this line right here because we're going to be drawing this curve beside it and it goes down this way and then like that. Okay, let's go back over here, across, down, across. Okay, and then I just doubled up this line right here and this line to give it a some depth. Okay, let's go back over here. This sticks out and then it goes up. And then over here, this sticks out and then it goes up this way, kind of into obscurity here. So it just goes up into nothingness. Okay, and right here, we'll just draw a little curve like that, kind of where it, it sort of meets. And then right here, that goes up like this and then here's a curve and then here's another curve. And there you go. This has been really complicated. Let's see if there's other missing parts to it. We're pretty much got the gist done. We just have to do the eyes now, and a little bit of the helmet. But I think for the most part, we are finished with the with the mouth, the lower face. There you go. 
just adding some more details to it. I mean, I, you could keep going with the details on this because there's just so much. Okay, inside here we could draw like little rectangle corners there and there. And then we could add more stuff over here. We could add more stuff over here. Totally up to you, actually. But I think that's good. What do you guys think? Let's go back up here and let's kind of start figuring out um, the face or the, the, the eyes. So I've got these points right here, which are good. I want to keep these. And then we have the actual eyes. Let's draw the actual eye right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw two circles inside. One, two. Okay. So now I've got a series of circles. I've actually got one, two, three, four circles. So here's the original circle for the people. And then there's the outline outside of it. And then two more inside. And try to get those I kind of messed up here. Try to make sure that those circles are the right shape, or at least the inside circle is roughly the same size with each other. There you go. And then just kind of draw the pupils like this, just a bunch of lines going around the smallest circle to the second smallest circle like that. And then the ones on the outside are slightly angled, but they're like that. And like that. Okay. Here I'm going to create two more lines here and same thing over here. One, two lines like that. And I'm just going to draw this little line from the outside going into the people right there. Now over here, I'm going to draw some lines going across. And then above that, I'm going to create this kind of looks like the eyebrow. And it goes all the way out towards the side of the head here. Like that. Down here goes this way and then just goes down and then goes across again. And right here, this one kind of has a little side to it where all these lines go down. Here you don't see much of that. But again, over here, this goes this way, then goes down. And then right here, a little diagonal line going across like that. Okay, let's take a look, look back and check to make sure that everything is symmetrical. Okay, right here, I'm gonna draw two lines right there and here. There you go. Okay, right above, right here, line out, this a line out. And this does the same thing, kind of just goes across like that. But this goes in like that. So this goes in and here, just goes all the way to there. Okay, so now here's the helmet. Let's work on the helmet part. That's where the curve, I kind of want that curve there. Maybe I'll just draw it on this side. A very slight curve right here, goes down. Like that. Okay, now over here, cross, up, diagonal, down, diagonal, up, across. So it looks like this. And then let's go over here. We'll do the same thing over here, same spot across. And then this goes up, diagonal, down, diagonal, up again, and then across just like that. There you go. Okay, now let's go over here and let's finish this off. We're pretty much done over here. I just wanna draw a line right there. And on this side, I actually want this to go in this way and then the line going down, up and down. Just fixing this up. 
want to get those lines. Once you get those lines, you finalize them. Right here, I'm going to just draw that line and this line right here. Then I'm going to draw some rivets on each corner. One, two, three, four. One, two. This is more diagonal, so they're a lot flatter than these ones. And there you go. Close that off. The line going through like that. And I think you guys. Well, you know what? Let's let's do the Autobot, a very simplified version of it. Let's draw a a trapezoid. So the top and the bottom. It's wider at the top than it is at the bottom. Okay, right here. This goes down and makes a chin. Okay, here at the top, we're just gonna draw it going across. Okay, and then right around here, halfway through, draw a line going across. Actually, not halfway through, a little bit above halfway. Okay, we draw a line across, rectangle down. One eye, one eye. Kind of looks like an upside down house shape. And then this goes down, this goes down. And then here we got the sad looking face. Here at the top, it gets a little bit bigger over here. And then this goes this way and this way and up. With a little triangle right here. And two lines here and here. That's a very simplified version of the Autobot symbol. All right. So I think we are practically all done. So what we need to do now is we're just going to add the chin part. Actually, he's got, I didn't even notice this. He's got these two things coming down this way. They look like pipes. So line going down like that here and here. Just like that. That goes across and that's it, you guys. Um, there's tons of little details. There's, I think there's even a, a round thing going on right here and right here. Everything's getting lost in the, all the little details of it. So I'm going to double on those. And I think we're going to leave it at that, you guys. Um, not, there's nothing really to, there's no neck or anything. Cause you can make some necklines. I'm just going to draw this three lines like this. And then one, two, three, three lines like that, just to give it a neck. And then that goes this way. And then I'm just going to draw a line from here, going down this way. And then here goes down this way. And over here, I'm just going to find a line going down this way. And one more line going across like that. And here's actually his shoulder. He's actually crunched down in the photo. Okay, this goes across and then it's gonna make my way up this way and then this way. Okay, so there you go. And there's Bumblebee. I think we got him as much as, as best as we can anyway. So there you guys is Bumblebee from Transformers. I hope you enjoyed this rather complicated tutorial on Bumblebee's face. Good luck and uh, thanks for watching. And that is all the time that we have today. Thank you for watching all the way to the very end of this tutorial video. I hope your drawings turned out great. If you guys are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So please head on over to Instagram and tag me with your pictures so that I can see them or head on over to Google Plus and post your artwork there for everybody to enjoy. If you are curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do my tutorials, I have a link to those in the description below. And if you feel like being extra generous, I have links below for different ways that you can support this channel. First is my Patreon at Patreon patreon.com slash draw it to check it out to find out more about the rewards you get for becoming my patron next i have official draw it to merchandise that you can purchase such as t-shirts mugs and mouse pads and finally you can purchase some of my art prints in my online store at draw .storeenvy.com. your contributions go a long way in making sure that content creators like myself are supported so that we can continue making good stuff like this for you guys free of charge. If you guys did like this tutorial, it would help me a great deal. Also, if you liked this video, commented below or shared this with your friends in social media. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a whole bunch of coloring pages from the tutorials that are on this channel. Again, you guys, all of these links are down in the description below. Finally, thank you once again for watching and as always, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial video.